Let's do this. Die now! <laughs> You're tough. Hello. What do you want? They say blacksmiths are strong. I say they're fat pussies. And I say I can show you just how strong we are. Careful you don't snap something. Show me your coin if you want to wrestle. Let's do this. My hand, damn you! Might want to put a cold compress on that. We'll have to sit it out like hens on their eggs until this miss. Let's talk arm wrestling. Go on. As you're a witcher and I'm a mercenary, neither of us should wrestle for free. You lost, White Wolf. Lucky for you, we were only wrestling for coin. You'll have to sit it out like him. Let's talk arm wrestling. Go on. As you're... Lucky that Nilfgaardian at Brenna wasn't as strong as you. Or Adam Pangret would be a heap of white bones right now. Lucky for you we were only playing for coin. I venture to say there's only one man who stands a chance against you. Numa. Numa? What kind of name is that? He's a circus artist. The mighty Numa, they call him. Apparently he grips like a vice. But word has it he cheats. How? Performance enhancing potions. The undetectable kind. I'll be sure to seek him out someday. You'd know best if he's using his muscles or alchemy. The whole camp's gone berserk looking for the coins. Grown lads with their. from if there wasn't a single one when they were pitching camp. Crazy. The enemy have fed you their propaganda. Yeah. Ah. 
But what if she's truly an anointed bird? Ah, don't worry about it. The Witcher will take care of everything. I'm looking for Leton Davit, the Butcher of Sidorus. What do you seek? I want to try my luck. Strange. Most shit themselves at the sight of my sword. They say you're equal to a Witcher in a fight. They lie. I'm better. We'll see. You'll need to wait. I've a fight lined up already. We could always duel in pairs. I look around and I see the cream of Kedweni Knights. Someone's bound to agree. I am Edwin Lysum, known also as the Petal. If Latond will have me, I'll gladly stand at his side. Why do they call you the Petal? I've no need for one who plows maidens simply for the pleasure of deflaring them. You offend me greatly, Latond. I owe the moniker to the fact that I place flower petals in the mouths of the foes I defeat. I'll be glad to see anything stuffed in the Witcher's mouth. So be it. Seems we'll be slaughtering squirrels again. Surprise! Never hand in every rebellion, every evil cause. You know me, I'm not prejudiced. <laughs> 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 Going to the slaughter like a pig for a feast, but there's not I can do. And? Has he agreed? Yes. Some horsemen, eh? Unique among them. Ready? Uh huh. Let's go get him. Most gracious king, noble lords, men at arms, shortly in the arena you shall witness the famed Leton Davit, known also as the Butcher of Sidoris, at whose side shall stand the honorable Edwin Isam. Opposing them are Sven of Somewhere and Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. May the gods favor the better men! Begin! Some of the lock, head keep them shut. Yeah! 
What? <laughs> Anyone know what it's all about? Hail to the victor! Glory to the vanquished! The prize in the contest was a noble title. Our gracious and merciful ruler, King Henselt, shall generously bestow this upon the young Sven. Heralds will announce these subsequent duels. Long live King Henselt! Long live Kedwin! Thank you. You salvaged my honor. He salvaged that foolish head of yours. I'm a knight now! The king himself will do the honors. You were born in a pigsty with the labor came to your mother 18 springs ago. Nothing will change that. Witcher, I said you could demand what you will, and my words no worse than the nobles. You demanded payment for helping me? Everything has its price. What is it you wish? Information on those who carry square coins. Father! Silence! Why do you need to know? I just need to know what this is all about. Ah, it's a long story. I've got time. It started before the victory at Brenna, when we split Edorn between ourselves and Nilfgaard. We were shamed throughout the north. What's that got to do with the coins? Everyone wanted to thrash the Black Ones, not play brother to them. A group of officers hatched a plot. The coins there mark. I don't know who gathered the first group of plotters, but the seeds of the scheme fell on fertile soil and sprouted quickly. Then came Brenna, and it all died down. The plotters themselves lost direction, though it seems they resurfaced recently. Is Henselt dealing with Nilfgaard again? Who knows? But he's welcomed that shriveled old bat here and spends time in discussions with him. That plot, well, the lads just want to prevent the Black Ones from meddling in our affairs. Not more. You know a lot. You got a coin. 
dark, yeah, I'm old. I know that he who gains power loses his heart. I'm past the age of taking the crown off one head and placing it on another. But my son still believes a monarch can be just. Why must you know if I that coin? I can't say. And neither can you, father. An old soldier's word is no handful of hay with which to wipe your arse. I'll have naught to do with this. <sighs> Go to Madame Carl's brothel and ask for whistling Wendy. The madam will take you to her tent and leave you alone. Wendy will ask what you wish. Tell her you want her smile to open the gates of paradise. Are we even? Yeah. And beware of Vincent Trott. He may be hiding with the conspirators. Dangerous man, that one. Death Mole's looking for him. And if he finds him, we may all end up tasting the executioner's axe. That scoundrel falls into the sorcerer's hands. He'll give us all up to save his own skin. I'll be careful. Trot wears a magic suit of armor. He could prove a difficult foe, even for you. Witcher. What? The king is impressed with your skills. He's called on me to organize a tournament. If this goes on, his entire army will be slaughtered before he moves against Edern. This time it'll be a tourney of knights. None of that slaughter for the riffraff to enjoy. The king will reward the winners handsomely. If you're interested, find me by the arena. What else am I to do? This mist drives me crazy. Still looking for coins. What else am I to do? How did ye wind up here? Are you all right? You'd best leave. Old Maverick ain't a good companion. Unless you're looking for someone to mock. What I saw back there, that happen often? What's the problem? I've bigger problems to deal with than the camp tramps. My nightmares have invaded my waking life. The specters haunt and hunt me by day. Come on. Nightmares are common. Start at the beginning. One night, I walked to the riverside and sat there, staring at the stars. I must have fallen asleep. I dreamt of my birdie, her milk-white bosom, her gentle voice. I saw and heard her as if she sat beside me. And then that voice became a terrifying whisper. Curdled the blood in my veins. I opened my eyes, but the specter remained. It went on talking, hovering over me. Stretching its mitts out towards me. I felt a deathly chill, and then it happened. What? Never been a coward. At the fore and fierce in many battles. But a human's one thing. A spectre's another. No other way to put this. I shit myself. Out of fear. Pants right full by the time I got back to camp. Since then they mock me. Call me the crapper. I didn't see anyone mocking you. Well, except for those two drunks. Then you haven't looked around well enough. I'm the laughing stock of the entire camp. What time did the Spectre appear? I went to the beach after my watch, so it must have been an hour before midnight. I've no idea how long I slept, but when I reached the camp, 
was dawning in the east. Why did you go to the beach? During Hensel's last expedition, we stayed in a house there. My unit was on the lookout for Demaven's forces trying to cross the river. I just wanted to recall the old times. So you took part in the campaign three years ago? Took part? I barely escaped with my life. Leva, the brothel medic, saved me. Talk to her if you want to learn more. She knows everything about the camp. I'll deal with the Spectre, but you should know a Witcher's services don't come cheap. My soldier's pay is meager. Got but a few coins in my pouch and some pipeweed. Will you do it for that? All right. Still looking for coins. What else am I to do? This mist's driving me crazy. If you've got a growth of some sort and you're here for the salve, get in line. Nothing of the sort this time. You were here during Hensel's previous expedition. What of it? I have some questions. Be quick. Half of Hensel's nobility's waiting for this salve. They've all started pissing blood out of longing for the spouses they left at home. Three years back it was the home of Malgut, a healer and his family. While he helped us tend the wounded, someone murdered his children. Malgit couldn't come to terms with the tragedy, and threw himself into the river. The children were buried behind the house. Their graves should still be there. Did many soldiers survive the battle three years ago? But a handful. The rest were just vaporized. Those who could walk dragged those who couldn't. All the survivors were horribly burned. I'm interested in that tower. It's the remnant of a manor sacked long ago. They call it the Tower of Debauchery, since Madame Carroll made camp at its foot. The ravines around the camp, they don't look like they were shaped by nature. They're proof of the great power sorceresses can summon. Sabrina's fireballs scarred the ground for many miles around the battlefield. I'll let you get back to treating all those brave fighting men. Oh, the 
turn out like the mill in Stilton. The one the smith from Jailmouth took over when he married the miller's widow. Bad chance of Henselt and Shillard inviting us to their meeting. Well, we should at least object somehow. We spit at the sight of the black ones. Do you know it? Can there be? Salutations. Hello, damn it. Salutations. Salut greetings. Greetings. Oi, what you doing here? Get out of the way. I need to inspect this area. Be careful. They say stepping in the ashes brings bad luck. Get us out of here, will ya? You came here on your own. You can get back on your own. This place is crawling with droners. I mean, we'd have stayed in our tents on our arses if we'd known. We're safe in the circle, but three feet outside. And who knows what would happen. All right, we'll go back together, but let me look around first. Apparently it's bad luck to tread on the ashes. Who cares enough to bring all these things here? Who 
was enough to bring all these things here. Strange aura. Let's take a closer look. Carved from a solid piece of stone. Reusable, you could say. Candles, amulets, coins. People make offerings here like they would at a shrine. Candles. The stench is worse than Zoltan's boots. Nothing unusual about them otherwise. Square coins adorned with a fish. I guess the plotters like to come here. Let's see. An unnatural stillness typical of intersections and places where streams of the power meet. Unnerving, but harmless. People seem to be staying away from the wheel. They're afraid, while the gifts are at a safe distance from it. Except for one person. With Kedweni Army Issue boots. Glad to know I'm not the only one to desecrate this site. Animal tracks. Dogs, wolves, bears, even birds. You'd think this was a feeding ground, but they all fear the circle. Except for cats. Their tracks are everywhere. One even napped on the pedestal. Triss once told me cats like to sleep on intersections. And they're the only beasts apart from dragons who can draw the power. They clearly like this place. Sabrina was nailed to this wheel. Something protected the wheel from the flames. It's hardly scorched. Hmm. Fresh holes and splinters. Someone's pulled nails from the wheel recently. I better take one, just in case. I need to bring the king here. I need to reenact the execution. If I can only summon Sabrina's ghost, I could force her to lift the curse. The Draugrs and the Mist will remain, but at least the King will be safe. I need to know what happened here. Witnesses of the execution, they're the key. If I can just find out how Sabrina died, I should be able to free Henselt of the curse. Two leads. Sabrina's cultists and the Nail Thief, who's obviously immune to the aura of this place. Time to question some soldiers. enough to bring all these things here. You've looked and touched your fill, right? Let's get out of here. Did you light those candles? We did. What's it to you? From what I've seen, it's not safe here. The beasts are too scared to come near the circle. Maybe, but you gotta leave the circle to return to camp. Help us get back! If you all know this area is infested with monsters, why the hell did you come here? On a kind of pilgrimage to visit the circle. Feel their eyes on you. They're watching us. We won't get out alive, superstitious idiots that we are. Don't you believe the visionary? You don't have to. But it was worth a try, right? Old idiot. It's his fault we ended up here. Who is this visionary? He's behind all this. He talks of miracles in the circle. I believe him. Know why? He lives deep in the valleys, but something protects him from all those harpies.
Did you see them burn the sorceress? Three years ago! We both served under Henselt then, but only the Fifth Company guarded the stake. They say the King never wanted to make a spectacle. Some soldiers never come here, but others visit the Circle to check the remains. You're just like them. To you, it's only a superstition to make money from. You're looking for old nails in the ashes. Like that shitbag who trades outside the inn? You're mistaking me for someone else. Really? Didn't give us the nails. I'm keeping it. Keeping it? Not heard what they say. Relics are like fist tech for simple folk. How did you manage to avoid the Drowners on your way here? The Visionary was with us. He led us through, then left. I don't like this place. Thought you'd want to stay the night here. I know at least a few places I'd rather sleep. Come on. Beats me why they've been fighting over for generations. I get goosebumps every time I go outside the Palisade. Guess the Vic was right. We should have sat on our asses. You'll be whistling a different tune when the mist lifts and we attack Bergen. Curses on him! If it wasn't for you that have eaten us! We owe you our lives, Witcher. We can't let Zivik catch us! Don't shit your pants! Sabrina saved us from the monsters. So what's one little Zivik to her? 